Hi and welcome to a revisit of the open source database design tool DB Designer. First off you can notice that the website has had a redesign with a demo video it seems uh, and two call to action buttons on the left hand side registration and try an example. So let's just click try an example to see what it presents. This pretty much opens up I think a read only database schema of the sample database here or sample schema rather. Uh, can't do much else. It shows that you're a guest and I'm using Firefox so Chrome is better suited for this so I'll close both. Oh there we go. Okay so that was the example. Let me check out the video. Don't know if it's actually just loading very slowly or what's going on there but doesn't seem to be playing anything. And we have a tab based system on the top for docs. Actually, no, it's taking you. No, it's just the same. It's linked back to the actual site and then, of course, the GitHub repo. Which you should realize that was the GitHub link. So, scrolling down, we can see that it has the feature section, which is the same as before. And further down, it's showing Magic SQL export which still supports only MySQL and MariaDB as shown here. Uh, I think that was the same as before. So if you want to see what the website looked like previously, you can go back to my uh, previous review video, which I'll link to in the description below and in the info tab that opens up. So uh, another thing that was the design, that was the design of the previous site. So you can see it's a bit more pleasing aesthetic which had like various design elements. It was trying to get you to use it uh, based on I guess its benefits rather than this I, which I feel is a bit more clinical but straight to the point. I preferred the old one so it might be just a personal thing. So magic export of SQL I think that was in the previous version uh, and share design with the magic link so you can share your design using a link like this so you can just try this we'll just open that up in a new tab to see what it's like and it's pretty much the same as before so the i think it was the demo that was on the first link and i'm guessing this is one of the new features so we have a magic image export so previously i think it was just limited to exporting the sql query that was generated and now you can do this, which is, let's just try the example, see what it's like. Oh, the same thing. So go back. So I just opened up a new tab for that. Okay, so uh, let me just try and log in. I think my old credentials should still work. Can't type now, so. There you go, login success. Still complaining about Firefox. So there's my two previous databases that I was using. On the left we have uh, various file menu functions and properties. Open project before you can see the description. Account which is just your account details. You can change your password, gender, name. Why not? So let's open up a database schema by double clicking on it okay I think the side menu is gone now so we can't really oh if we click the file button okay now let's see what the properties was okay so basically the name of the project itself and the status you can have it private just for you your own use or public I guess to share uh, yeah there you go so the link to share and other features so delete that I don't know if that's deleting the actual whole project itself think it might be well, it could be useful to have some kind of guide there saying or information and place it lower down uh, indicating that this will actually d delete your schema I don't want to try it out just in case if it does delete it probably do it at the end to see if there's any gotchas there so this is the table that I've had before uh, purchases blah 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 so uh, some updates that I was uh, told about. So one of them is the autosave when you make a change. So let me just try and create a new standalone table. Uh, ID as a primary key, uh, name as the second one. 
and it presents data type suggestions right there so t anything else just the usual so make a text of that and maybe created date probably change that to small there we go created date is date date time so there you go click out of that and you can see it's there and you can see the saving in progress so it's saved automatically so maybe I can use that as a foreign key to my legacy products and it's linked up and it's saving as well so it seems to be saving on each little change that occurs expiry date I don't know might as well and it is it's actually saving every single time there's a change being made I don't know if that's ideal it'd be handy if you could set a time maybe say once every two minutes or five minutes and only as an option that should be enabled I suppose because ideally if you forget to save and it saves for you and you know you lose connectivity or something crashes it's saved otherwise it's just pretty much saving every single change that you make which you might necessarily not want okay so what else is there you can export to image let's go to the export one okay so this was the it's the exact same as the previous one except I think the last time around you could only export to SQL so if you click on you can only export to a MySQL uh, database query oh and there's the, the query string right there it seems to be all on one line which I don't know if it's ideal I mean if you're running running the query in a database engine it's not an issue but uh, for readability okay when you copy and paste it out it does actually format it so it's more human readable that's good no say that and let me see image so you this is the 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 latest edition I suppose the, the added feature you can export your database schema as an image of either PNG or JPEG default high best um, high or best. I don't know if default is the minimum or the medium in this case. So let's try JPEG because everybody loves a JPEG. There you go. That's a shot of the database schema. And I think one other thing that I noticed was export the image and zoom canvas. There you go. I think you can zoom. Whoa. Okay. That's interesting. I think you can actually crop the image to what you want to be saved as. Zoom out and see that. Okay, yeah, I can save the image and let me just open it up instead of saving it. There you go, it's neatly captured there. So that's really handy. Uh, let me see, let me crop again. Maybe just, whoa. Okay, there is this, the selection slash crop marquee. Uh, just select these guys crop that download that again and just uh, yeah it's it's um it's at a hundred percent so it's very sharp uh very fast it's good enough and what else pdf is coming soon so there's a typo there coming soon laravel and django not sure what those are for Maybe it's specific to those engines, whatever hybrid language they're using for, uh, I don't know, like something like Link in C Sharp would be uh, some kind of language that's between a programming language and a SQL language. So, okay, that's another one. And you can zoom the canvas and change the page size. Okay, so zooming. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem to be doing anything so if you press that you have preset options on how much to zoom 200 percent can you move around no so, uh, okay right click that's that's another feature added as well right click menu new table select uh, move canvas there we go oh that's actually no sorry you can actually drag the table itself with the move or move along that's handy so move canvas or select does the same thing move I guess move canvas does both so that's handy enough 
So let's zoom back out. And then move the canvas so it is in the center, I suppose. There we go. Okay, so next up is the canvas page size. So I'm guessing that's this one here. So let's try and make it an even square. Oop. Uh oh, hang on. Ah, uh, kind of clips everything, I suppose. Get a thousand by. There we go. Um, hmm. Seems to be working. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe actually make it larger. Twelve eighty. There we go. That works better. It's actually moving the whole canvas, which I guess slides off the edges. That's pretty good. I wonder what this is. There's no tooltip, and I don't know if it's the grid. Uh, same thing with here. I think it was. I think it's just for zooming in. <clears throat> Not really sure. Share. That's the properties. Checked out before, so so that's pretty much it. Make sure you try out this application as it's made by a solo developer on his free time, and as you can see, quite a lot of work has gone into it already. And you can easily fork this on GitHub or contribute to the work in progress, or just see if you're learning web development. As a standalone tool, it's handy and free for quickly mocking up schemas and having a quick export of the DDL script to create and populate your database tables, as well as having a diagrammatic export via images. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, take care and goodbye.